that I can do. So Life with Hundreds of Birds is an incredible, amazing, difficult, time-consuming, and outrageously wonderful experience. You're a pretty bird. Pretty bird, you are a pretty bird. So I'm Michelle Raffin. You're a pretty bird. You're not a, you're not a cat, you're a bird. And I'm the CEO of Pandemonium Aviaries. I know, how are you? I know, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Hi, Pete. It's a pretty amazing experience to wake up and hear this chorus of beautiful bird sounds. It's like music. It is music. It's the most basic music. And it's amazing to walk in and have a bird tell you that it needs something. Hello. I started acquiring birds that needed homes and had no other options. I was functioning as a rescue without realizing I was a rescue. There you go. So she had lived with one family for 22 years, and they just felt that it was time for her to move on. Pretty mom. Pretty bird. I know you want Pretty mom. Pretty bird. I love to say I'm pretty mom and somebody loves me. <laughs> I never get tired of that. At some point, it became clear that some of the birds that had come and rescued basically had been discarded, uh, were a very important genetic material, and they were some of their last kind in the United States. And so I changed direction and became a nonprofit, and now our focus is on preserving those birds and increasing their numbers. Form of Noah's Ark, if you will, a landlocked ark in my backyard. My house right here, well, it's the only facility I had available. <laughs> right now, we have 34 species. At one time, we had 79 when we were a rescue. Birds that we focus on are birds from New Guinea, and there's a couple species from the Philippines. The birds that we're breeding are the Victoria crown pigeons, the blue crown pigeons, and the green eyed pheasant pigeons, the Luzon bleeding hearts, the Bartlett bleeding hearts, and um, the Nicobar pigeons. The idea is to build up a population that's genetically diverse with enough numbers so that should they be wiped out in the wild, we'll be able to reintroduce a viable population and repopulate. The other birds are birds that came through rescue originally that we still we still maintain, we give them forever homes, but we don't breed them. So Beekman came through rescue. She um, had lived with a man for 17 years, lost his home to foreclosure. <laughs> Nobody has called me a crazy bird lady to my face. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they say. But you know, this isn't about me. It's about doing something I think is really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.